All right. Um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, now we have this distributive property, and we also have um, the subtraction of seven outside this. Now, it's very important for Tansy when you're writing this down to make sure that you understand that. Okay. I don't know. Which I think it is. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. So, um, what I want you guys to do is make sure that one of the mistakes that students want to make is they want to multiply this three times everything. Make sure, guys, when you have a number outside your parentheses, that number only needs to be distributed to all the terms inside the parentheses. It's multiplying by every term inside the parentheses, and that's it. Okay? It's not multiplying by this negative seven or by this uh, subtraction seven. So now I apply a distributive property. So I have negative 3 times negative 2x plus <coughs> negative 3 times 1 minus 7. Again, following the rule, uh, the order of operations, I now need to simplify using multiplication. So negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be a, give me a positive 6x plus negative 3 times 1 gives me a negative 3 and then minus 7. All right. Now, I can combine negative 3 and 7, right? I can still simplify this. These are like terms. So always look to simplify with your like terms. So 6x negative 3 minus 7 is going to be a negative 10. All right? Now we see we have our only two expressions have one has a variable, one does not. So we